I believe that Pangolin's native token called PNG is going to shock the world during this bull run and hypothetically go to the price of $10. And of course, nothing I say is financial advice nor a guarantee, but why do I think so? It's because I think that Pangolin is that fundamentally fantastic. You know, after all, it is a multi-chain decentralized exchange. And it did launch back in 2021 on the Avalanche network. Now, here's the thing. It also has deployments in other places too, such as, for instance, Hedera. Very bullish on that. You also take a look at Flare. I'm also bullish on that too. And last but not least, we take a look at even the Near Protocol as well, which, yet again, I'm very bullish on. Of course, there's many others, but I'm just highlighting these ones. That's how special Pangolin is. A lot of people oftentimes like to say that Avalanche, it's a bad place to be. They like to say it's Kaka. They like to say that, hey, it's Solana's little brother. But I completely disagree. And I think that, quite frankly, is very disrespectful because you got to think about this. According to DeFi Llama, in terms of total value locked on DeFi, and of course, DeFi stands for decentralized finance. But besides that point, Avalanche is currently top 10 in the world. And also on top of that, as a network, Avalanche has been able to facilitate over 1 billion transactions. So that's very impressive. Also, people like to say that, oh, Solana is very scalable, but so is Avalanche. People like to say that, hey, Solana has very low gas fees. I think Avalanche has very low gas fees. So really, if you take a look at it, is Avalanche really that bad? Is it more specifically Kaka compared to Solana? I completely disagree. I think it's pretty much on par with Solana. However, it has yet to gain the mainstream hype, I would say. But it's just a matter of time because I think it's that amazing. So when I hear that Pangolin launched you know, on Avalanche originally, that right there is such fantastic news in my opinion because I think they clearly chose the right place. Again, aka Avalanche. And for the people out there that say, oh wow, decentralized exchanges, they have no future. I disagree because a decentralized exchange, it does fall under the category of the decentralized finance market. And according to Grandview Research, the decentralized finance market is predicted to be worth over $200 billion by 2030. So can you imagine that? That's bigger than some countries' GDP. So for the people out there that think that, oh, in order for Pangolin to succeed, you know, something like Uniswap and PancakeSwap has to disappear. That's not true, in my opinion. They can still do well, but I think Pangolin also has its own place. Because again, when a market is predicted to be worth over $200 billion in the very near future, I think there's going to be room for a lot of the good ones to eat. At least that's the way I view it. And also, if you think about it, back in May, it was reported that the supply is capped forever at $230 million. And now this is for PNG. And this means that there is going to be no more PNG that will be minted. This is very impressive news because this quite essentially eliminates all of the nonsense that people may think about, right, when it comes to a project. Because sometimes they think, oh, wow, they're accumulating. What's going to happen to the inflation? Is it going to cook them, basically? But in this case, all of the inflation nonsense is pretty much kind of eradicated, kind of removed. That's what I love about this project. And also, market cap is very low as of right now. I think it's very underrated. Now, it did experience decent growth, right? But again, market cap is still below $60 million. I mean, this is crazy in a good way, of course, because, man, the lower something is, in my opinion, the more room it has to grow. Now, here's the thing. PNG, its native token, going to the price of $10, some people out there, they may think it's crazy. But I disagree, because if it were to reach that price, considering its current circulating supply, at that point, market cap would be around $2 billion. Now, this may seem insane at first glance, because it is over a 40x from here. And people, again, they may be thinking, ah, $2 billion market cap, what are you on about, man? That sounds kind of crazy. But you take a look at Uniswap's native token called Uni. You know, at one point, it reached around $22.5 billion in market cap. So if Uni can go to over $22 billion, why can't PNG at least go to around $2 billion? And also take into consideration how as of right now, there's currently over half a billion crypto owners. That's insane. That's more than ever before in history, by the way. And this is according to Crypto.com research. Back in the peak of the 2021 bull run, there was roughly only around 300 million crypto owners. Now there's over half a billion. Could you imagine the potential FOMO buying pressure and buying volume this time around? It's going to look insane. Also, imagine what's going to happen to Bitcoin once it goes to the price of 100,000, let's say even beyond 250,000, and maybe even more. Altcoin season is going to look so impressive. And I think, of course, something like PNG is going to go along with the ride. So I can't wait. And again, $10 wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. And how am I preparing myself for that? That's by dollar cost averaging. So anytime I earn income, I'm going to be accumulating PNG, I'm going to be holding, and I'm just going to be waiting. That's it. You know, some people out there, they really love, you know, trying to outsmart the market. They try to buy this day and then the next two days they try to sell or whatever like that. But 
that's just not what I do, man. I like to keep things simple when it comes to any cryptocurrency that I own. I don't day trade. I don't use leverage. I don't swing trade. I don't do any of that type of stuff whatsoever. I like to keep things simple. Again, right? Acquire, hold, and I just wait. That's it. I like to remove a lot of the short-term emotion out of it and just quite essentially focus on the long term. Because if you think about it, altcoins, historically, they peak usually anywhere between 6 to 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event. And now the Bitcoin halving event happened back in April. So six months from April is October this year, and 18 months from then is October next year. That's still plenty of time, so I don't mind. You know, I don't mind waiting because if I have more time to accumulate, why not? And again, $10 wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. I think that this sporum could be so amazing, and I think that Pangolin is that fantastic. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.